Got two members of Indlovu Youth Choir Studio. We're chatting about the choir, how it formed, and how they got involved. Uh, Osandi has been with the choir since it started back in 2009, and then uh, Tuli joined about eight years ago, right? So obviously, you guys did your things, arranged the music your own way as a choir. You did a couple of albums. COVID hit. Mm. So the gigs are drying up now. Yeah. What happened in the past two years? We are we are very fortunate to have the team that we have yeah. in Lovu, in Lovu Care Group. It didn't say that, okay, now you acquire your famous and then you can just be on your own. Sure. So what happened during COVID is that we are very fortunate again that yeah. we have a, a research center there. Okay. Where and it's a clinic and all that. We can have our COVID tests and everything there. Yeah. So we developed our rehearsal space. Okay. We changed it completely and we built a green screen studio. Oh, okay. So there, we had international shows that were cancelled or postponed. Yeah. But we could still perform and do those shows in our studio yeah. without leaving. Ah. So we did a whole lot of virtual shows. Yeah, we yeah, did yeah, a yeah. whole lot of virtual shows. Yeah. And then that kept the choir, the boats afloat. Yeah. You know, it kept us going throughout the, the tough times. Yeah. That we get tested and, you know, have our COVID distance and everything, mm-hmm. have cameras there, and then we stream live. Yeah. 2021 I'd like to say there was a song um what is it liberated liberate love yeah yeah what was that song about it it, it was about the situation you know um what we've going through what 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 we are going through what were you going through no the world <laughs> okay the world <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> I thought it's a choir there that this choir is going no. through a lot right now man no 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 it was just about what we are going through as yeah. as as the world that we were just it was a crazy world you know sure. and in yeah it was just talking about the situation of covid and yeah yeah and spreading love you yeah. know that we should continue and have that spirit of yeah. resilience mm. yeah. yeah and then you obviously went back to the covers thing um adele dropped the song mm-hmm. yeah, yeah 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 i mean the ed sharon the choir master came up with that idea was yeah. it his idea as well with Easy on me? Um, no, it was one of the who's this guy? This is guy from Sony called Spyro. Oh, so okay, he yeah, yeah. called Ralph in such excitement. Did I would know? Yeah. I've got the song that I know about that's gonna drop tomorrow. Sure. I can't tell you what the song is, but like, watch your YouTube. Yeah. So he's like, oh, okay. So when the song drops, then Ralph finds out that it's Easy on Me. Mm. Then we just jumped on it. Arrangements, because you guys do pretty unique arrangements, I could say. Yeah. yeah. Who decides on that? How does it? So work that's out? Uh, so. What happens is uh, the arrangement is mainly Ralph. Like he comes up with the ideas. Mm. He's like the brains behind everything. Yeah. And then so what happens? And then we have um, a music team. So that's where they come in and like put in their own spices and do the translations and what have ah, you. Yeah. 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 So it consists of like three. It's people. it's like a, it's like a teamwork. It's yeah. A teamwork. I can put yeah. it as a teamwork. There's members of the choir that does the music they and do everything. The we work together yeah. with Ralph so and. Yeah. Are, make the arrangements and all that late april you guys had a launch for your brand new album grateful yeah and i'm gonna be honest i was invited but i couldn't come ah, yeah. well, so i saw the videos i am invited late Let me be honest, <laughs> uh, they literally invited me the day before so i was like i yeah. you know yeah. mm. but i saw the videos yeah. the music is sounding great right yeah. let's talk about the album that dropped end of april uh obviously the album you guys are trying to inspire the youth once, yes. once again it's youth month yeah. that's why we had decided to have you guys on uh, and i want to talk about some of the songs on there because you guys are a choir exactly mm-hmm. you guys do a cappella mostly mm-hmm. now and then you know you'll do you've done some pretty interesting things on the brand new album exactly oh thank you talk to me quickly about grateful before because i want to break down one of the songs with sanel uh, 25k is there okay. and there I'm a piano sound you know yeah. yeah people are already thinking how do all of that mix into a choir album yeah. you know but grateful when did you guys start working on the album uh so we've been working on the album for a year so the album grateful is like it's a way for us yeah to think people out there for like they love and support and like more so for like the opportunity that we have had yeah. and more so that pe- we are able to tap in into untapped talent and then showcase that it, it like it's possible yeah. for everyone to like overcome 
the norm of like because you come from like an unprivileged area you can't really make it sure. know, we're trying to break that whole narrative and yeah. just like show the youth that you can actually do it okay we're yeah. actually like uh representing we got the opportunity of being on the global stages yeah. okay and so what we're saying that we're grateful for everything that we've experienced yeah. Yeah. and again yeah. representing the youth that's out there that's not known that yeah. has the dream like us yeah. that we have that yeah. they want to make it out there they want to be even better than global yeah. sure. you know so that it's still gonna happen yeah we, we're just showing it to the world that yeah it is possible it's possible yeah the biggest genre right now in south african music is ama piano right? yeah you guys worked with tyler icu yeah yes. yeah yeah wow to you yeah <laughs> what time this group we tell you yeah Oh, I mean, I'm not picky, but yes, I do love the piano as well. <laughs> yeah. 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 How was working with Tyler? It was. Yeah, it, it, was was really it was fun. It was really it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. What and song did you work on? All of that. Yeah. It's it's the, you know, it's funny. Our 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 piano thingy that we started, yeah. the, the way it started. Ne? It was TikTok. It's TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we had to come up with new ideas of For just sure. connecting yeah. with our friends. We post things on Facebook. We post things on you know um youtube yeah. and facebook and all these social media platforms but we didn't really post on tiktok yeah. yeah and then we came this with this idea of just making short videos of covering a song on a piano song and yeah. it started with um it ain't it me, ain't me uh, yeah we na 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 into the na yeah. na and and then we had that video and then took off yeah you but know it was yeah but more so the on the main reason we featured art, other artists in the album mm. was because we wanted to like banter around creativity like yeah. we just wanted to share our creativeness with someone else and like they can bring in their own ideas yeah. so that's why this album is very different compared to like our previous album exactly yeah yeah, yeah. so that was really great okay song yeah. you did with tyler yeah t- song with you with tyler it also started like that yeah. i'm a piano and then yeah he also saw the the video on tiktok yes. sure. out there trending and then yeah we sa sakulu manai and then yeah yeah what is it called? The song. What is it about? It's it's Bella Chow. It's Bella Chow. It's Bella Chow. It's okay, the it's the yeah. Bella Chow. It's more like a cover of the Bella Chow. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that song. It's it's still Bella Chow. Yeah. So, but yeah, he did some magic there. Okay. On the you song. said you were not posting on TikTok, so you were not doing your job. You said you were in charge of social media. No. No. At the time we were in, like, was, that was before we, we, COVID. We were, busy. <laughs> <laughs> we were busy, but then after it COVID, was COVID, yeah, it was during COVID yeah. time, so it we had a lot COVID. of time on our hands. So. Yeah. Mm. We were like, no, why not do TikTok? Why are we not really paying attention yeah. on this on one? this platform? Yeah, yeah. yeah because it made a lot of superstars in terms of piano. Because a lot did. of songs, yeah, yeah, boom that side and it then did. it catches yeah. on. Yeah, it did. and it we did. even got invited um, to perform in Egypt in January. Yeah. Oh, okay, because yeah. of e TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how powerful That's how yeah. TikTok is. Twenty five k. Oh, cool. Did guy. you know his music before that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew his music before. Yeah. yeah. So y- we had to just sit down and think, okay. No, and be- prior and, to and that, before yeah. that, let me stop you in tracks. What had happened was like with this album, the main goal was like to give opportunities to the choristers to write your own music. Yeah. yeah. So one of our choristers, Uma Dota, um, came up with a song. Yeah. So his, he had already had like the beat and everything. So like the song was just there, but it was just raw. Yeah. Mm. So then when we worked on the song, we like there was an there was a part in it that needed like a rap sure so then we were thinking about like okay who's gonna rap the song it's like yeah. okay no let's just get some artists to like do it and then yeah. we're like oh no let's do it. let's get 25k yeah so like, he was the song then. grateful is a is a song that was written by the by choir yeah. also yeah, yeah. The, the by title, the chorister, yeah. yeah. A, chorister yeah. A, a member of the choir yeah so is Mato Tamshuan. he's the yeah. one that came with grateful the whole song yeah. he yeah. wrote it so then U25K just came with his rap. Yeah. 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 Did you did you guys love his verse or you were like, ah. No, it's we nice. It. It's, it's cool. very nice. It's very nice. Really? Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you know, just say that. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. It's really no. nice. Yeah. No, it's really no, nice. No, it's very nice. Right. Every, every guy, uh, every person that we've worked with, yeah. every artist that we featured on the album, yeah. Yeah. they were amazing. Yeah. We have a choir, a national uh, Youth, Youth choir choirs of Great Britain. Yeah. 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 And we also yeah. did a song with Sun L that's also an original. So we've got five originals on the album. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it was it was fun. The guys, yo. Yeah. We're grateful that we got y- to share. Yeah. They got to share their creativity with us. With you us. guys are basically global superstars. You spoke about the national choirs of Great Britain. Yeah. At some point, traveling was shut down. Mm. Yeah. How did you hook up with them? Virtually. 
The song was written by um two of our choristers. Sure. Still na Yeah, Lungel. So Batlangani na by Great Britain now. And then over Izum, Batlangani ngom. Yeah. If forever. It's not an Just explain the process to me. Hey Zoom, you you you, you share ideas. Yeah. You log into Zoom and then okay guys, hey hi hi, I'm son. Hey, okay okay. Sure. So they and came up with a. I think a couple people came up with a beat and what have you. And then when you get onto the Zoom, I'm sure they meet in Alabama, mm. Alabama, London, what have yeah. you. And then already now because you've got logic, like you can share screen and stuff. Sure. So you guys yeah. are obviously yeah. listening to the yeah. sound. And then they were all like bantering back and forth about how to write the song, and, yeah. and then that's how it came about. Yeah. Then they like. They share you so find the like on other side, it, then they yeah. work on the production, they send back the file over that side and you see so it's broken and forth. Yeah. 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 The whole time. Since we started talking about Grateful, you've mentioned a couple of your choir members that have written songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One even wrote a song, finished it. You felt it was raw, it needed raps, you got twenty five K. The songwriting, it's not an easy skill. Mm-hmm. Where did you guys learn that? That is pure talent untapped talent yeah at its best it's, yeah. so that's the thing like this like i said like you know with the choristers like yeah. some people are really passionate with their music so sure. Umuntu will probably be at home and like you know they've got friends outside of the choir yeah so umato is one of those situations where he had friends that are outside of the choir and like they're always chilling and they're always creating like mm. beats and like writing songs when it have you so obviously yeah. you're always working on your music constantly mm. yeah. so when he came with the song he already had like a beat and like mm, the lyrics no, on it and have you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah, like, okay. they reworked yeah, like the whole the beat song. and the whole. A- and thing. Y- one thing that w- Lovu always promotes yeah. is that you should write your own songs. Yeah. But where do you learn that? It's easy to say to you guys, yeah, get home and write your own songs. Eh? Bring that idea that you have and then we break it down and you, you come up with something yeah. Yeah. nice. Oh, okay. And which which is ha- is something that happened. Tuli wrote, yeah. wrote a song. I also wrote the song for the last album. The previous album, she wrote a song. Hold on. Yeah. What was the song about? Oh, well, the song was about... Uh, it was about me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, you <laughs> <laughs> What but were you was, going through? Maybe going that's what I should be asking yeah, you. What yeah. were you going through when you wrote the song? If anything, I was... I had... I suffered from severe depression. Okay. For the longest time. So, for me, if anything, I wasn't outspoken. Yeah. So, it's hard for me to speak and, like, let my words be heard. Yeah. So, the only way I could do that was through music. Yeah. So that's how I came about writing the song because I remember I was in the kitchen and I was so depressed and I was sobbing and I was just yeah. like, I, I don't know what it is, mm-hmm. but the only way I can tell you is if I write a song about it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I came about it. Two members of Inglova Youth Choir and Studio, we're getting to know them. They've got a brand new album. It's called Grateful. It dropped at the end of April. So we decided to bring them in for Youth Month, right? Uh, Tuli, I think I'll be missing an opportunity if I don't ask you about mental health. Yeah. You just spoke about depression. I did. How did you know it was depression, first of all? How did I know? It's yeah. like, you know, uh, I only knew that I had depression when I remember when I was watching the news and then you'd see all these cases about these kids jumping off buildings when it have you. Yeah. And then when you hear the backstory, they always tell you about how this person is always locked in their rooms and stuff. And sure. I knew I had some of those symptoms of like, I didn't like being like in the bright light. I, in the bright lights. I used to like being indoors and like in my room in the dark. Yeah. And I didn't have friends at the time and sure. I was always by myself. Yeah. So that's how I knew would see. Because you're constantly thinking like you're bending, like you're always fighting with your own subconscious self. Mm. Like there's always stuff going in there. Like it's hard for you to let go of certain things and you can't really tell what the problem is. Yeah. But you just know that there is a problem. Sure. Yeah. And then obviously later on you got to understand it. Yeah. Um, two questions. How did you know, tell your family about these mental health struggles that you're going through and what sort of help did you maybe get? How oh, you know, with family, it's different. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember telling my mom that, you know, I think I have a problem. I think I have depression. And she was like, oh, well, there's no way. Yeah. So, you know, at home, you don't have those problems. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, yeah. No, so you're being crazy or attention. Like, sure, they just yeah. brush you off and be like, ah, no, man, there's no way. Yeah. You get, so, Mina, how I recovered was through the choir. Like, the choirs helped me a lot. Yeah. Because like because I love music when I have it, it keeps me focused and like I'm able to deal with those emotions mm. on stage and I just take it out on stage and I'm just like you know I'm gonna become the best person I can be sure. and I won't let this overcome me. So yeah. yeah, some people might think that's you putting up a front. How do you feel when you're alone? When I feel alone, when I'm alone, I feel perfectly fine yeah. because because now I understand what depression is. Yeah, I know what to and to not do. So yeah. I know the certain foods I cannot eat 
because it triggers me. Yeah. And I know there's certain, like, I can't be in certain situations or, like, in crowded spaces because I, I know it triggers me. Yeah. So I know how to deal with it in, like, so in that certain way. It's Youth Month. What would you say to somebody who's young, who's probably going through what you're going through? You know, they like being by themselves in their room in the dark. You can become some sort of an activist, if I would call it like that, for yeah. mental health. You yeah. know? How would you maybe talk to somebody in that particular situation? What I always tell my friends is that find someone that you can like rely rely on like find you need to have a support system yeah. and if you can't find that at home you can find it outside or you can find it in your work yeah. inversed in something so i think that that will help you a lot because then you know which you have something to look forward to yeah you know so for me now the choir was that thing because yeah. i knew if, if i felt like no i'm just tired and i felt like so sad and what have you yeah. i just look forward to going to the choir and performing i'm just like oh but i can become one two three for sure. so yeah. yeah find something to always look forward to because like Creative Geniuses, man. The album is out. It's called Grateful. Check it out. They've got 25K on it. Tyler ICU is there. Uh, they've also got the National Choirs, uh, Youth Choirs, rather, of Great Britain on there, right? You said a lot of people sometimes leave as we're about to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see yourself leaving the choir one day? Yeah, obviously, bro. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. You'll never know, but man. Maybe you want to be the choir master <laughs> someday. No, you know? uh, uh, bro. You know, I think it might happen that I leave yeah. you know but you know I'll never block opportunities because of you know sure yeah if I have to like since I said that I'm I'm starting music and that's sure. what we always promote in the choir that yeah. get a skill and go out there and be great for sure you know yeah we don't keep people yeah yeah we're in the choir yeah. so that's what I'm saying that yeah if if I have to leave I'll leave but you'll still be in the music scene because you're studying music right yes. now okay uh, well, fortunately enough, I'm sure we were, there's four, four of us that enrolled in like Berkeley. Sure. Mm. And so for me, definitely, I, I, I do want to go solo. Yeah. So I'm working mm. on that now. And Ralph is also helping me with that. So mm. we are fortunate enough to have like a team that sure. can help you venture mm. into that with like, without having the hassle of not knowing what to do. Yeah. So definitely, I'm on it. My solo, you're cool. You're cool. Thank God I'm oh. versatile, so I'm going to do anything. Yeah. Any type of <laughs> yeah, <quite laughs> Thank God for that, so I can just adjust. Anyway, yeah, yeah we just go where the wind blows. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Are you guys big superstars at Denilton? No, 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 no. no. That's, that's another ah, thing. Ah, yeah, 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 that's, that's another come thing. On. That's, yeah. that's yeah. another thing yeah. about, <laughs> no. about it. Okay, maybe, maybe let me rephrase my question. Are you guys celebrities at Denilton? No, no, no. Ah. no. You know, th there's there's something beautiful about in love with choir or in love or net and on team. Yeah. yeah, very humble. Very humble, and it keeps you grounded. Everything about the choir. Yeah. Sure. We've never struggled with any member of the choir feeling Oguti Ai now. Yeah. Yeah. Even after we were after after AGT, uh, uh, after AGT Airport. Yeah. You know, it was like you woke up when everyone was welcoming yeah. us sure, and cameras sure. and everything. Yeah. Uh, the following day, I was walking in class. I'm Sandu Vanjan, sure. Uti no Samuel, sure, sure. There, there was no hype. Yo, Guti Manje. Yo, now, yo, Sandy. Maybe I want to on TV. No, see, no, see, no see, but you know, you know, when you they understand the struggle, there. you always remain mm. humble because you know exactly. what the struggle feels like. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So you know that. Oh, bro. Overseas, do people go crazy when they see you? Yeah, yeah. yeah they do. Yeah, if they, they recognize do. you, yes, they, they do. Also, I'm a celebrity overseas, not at home. Not the cast. Ah, not the cast. You are, man. But it's never <laughs> one of those things. We tell you, tell you, go go my sister's tomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's always like. But you be like, I know you, man. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Um, <laughs> makes me feel good, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. It makes me feel it's good. Normal. It's like, guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's normal. Because. And then, in terms of lastly, actually, as we wrap it up, social life. Do you guys go out, party? Do you club? <laughs> Nobody's gonna watch that part. Okay, fine. Let me, <laughs> let me switch off the cameras as you're about. To. No, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, no. You're the youth. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. That's my point. That you guys are young. Like, yeah. you, you get. You know? But if anything, you have to keep it clean. Yeah. So we know, like you're very, very you're disciplined. Old enough and you're old enough, so be responsible with everything yeah. you do. Yeah. So you go clubbing, Mara. When you take pictures, you feel sleep all day and all of that and. Just be responsible, bro. Man, just be responsible. <laughs> just be responsible. Please be responsible, just man. Do something that. Yeah, don't drink and yeah. drive. Do not yeah. drink unless you're over 18. Yeah, such yeah. Things. and that's what we always yeah. push in the don't choir. Smoke. You don't smoke. It's don't not good for yeah. you guys. Yeah. yeah, we don't push such things. Yeah, yeah. But we do, do talk about. Did you have things. fun though? Go out. Yeah, clubbing. Yeah, or go to church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything. That and you've got friends outside of the choir. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. We do. 
Okay. We do. That's Though we good. spend a lot of time together, that we feel like sisters yeah. and brothers. Eh? It's yeah. Too much. But I'm okay, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, as if, I'm a sibling. <laughs> <laughs> Siblings are for real. Yeah. yeah sometimes so they bore you, but you know what? You stuck with them. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. It is what it is. But I love. Yeah. Guys, all the best to the choir itself and Dover Youth Choir. All the best for your solo careers the day you decide to, you know, Thank do you. your thing solo and be a music mogul because that's where you hit it, right? Yeah. As the social media manager, I'm going to wrap it up with you. Well, somebody who handles the social media, mm. let me just say that. Let me wrap it up with you. Grateful. Push it one last time. Where do we find it? And then YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. How do we follow you guys? Okay, on YouTube, we end Dover Youth Choir. Mm -hmm. And then on Facebook, Love with Choir at Choir Africa. Yeah. Instagram still at Choir Africa. Yeah. Even on Twitter at Choir Africa. But if you want to follow the choir, just look for the tick, you know, the blue tick. <laughs> you just go to that blue verified. tick. <laughs> verified. Verified. Yeah. Verified. Yeah. Verified yeah. one. Because y the ones that are not verified, that's, you know, when we got back from AGT, they were guys oh, creating scammers. accounts. Scammers. And everything. Yeah. So we don't want that problem. Sure. So if it's verified, then it's Love with Choir. Yeah. Even everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. album, we can get it. All streaming platforms. All basically. streaming platforms. It's yeah. out. It's out. What's your favorite song on the album? Yo. Bra. Nah, just choose one. Eh, Mina, the whole album. also choose one. The whole album, <laughs> The whole album. Uh, the whole album. You uh, Grateful. Grateful is number one. Grateful in Africa. And Grateful in Africa. And? Yeah. What about you? Mina. Oh. Yeah, that's you. Nah, that's Mina, I can name a lot of songs. More than three, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would have to be Africa Hey, uh, Baba Mwani, Grateful, yeah. uh, Liberate Love, uh, Forever, Forever. Yo. Uh, uh, oh, there's the a whole, whole bunch. Album. Like, you cannot the miss one, album. you cannot skip any song on that they album. They like, you're gonna listen to everything and love everything. Yeah, yeah, all right. All the best, guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much for joining us. Eh? Thank you for yeah, having us. Thank you, Thank you for everything. <laughs>